When you're doing science, what you're really doing is creating new knowledge. And that's no different than what artists do. I mean, they're creating, you know, art, whether it's visual or musical or whatever. So I remember when I was an undergraduate, um, I used to hang out often with people from the fine arts department and that because I found I resonated with them extremely well. And I think it's because there's something in the mindset that we share in common. The sort of going out in new directions, trying to create new things. It's very common to what we do. Brockman Hall for Physics and Astronomy was definitely a place that from the outside I felt um, was going to be very minimal and light as air and, um, and contemporary and then I walked in. It, it, it is contemporary but it's also a lot more stoic and it almost felt like a church in here to me which was really funny um, being that it's this place of, of scientific learning. So tackling that was a, ta a challenge for sure. What we did is we applied some imagery to walls using screen print method. This primarily, first and foremost, was a collaboration. And that's what I always wanted it to be. You know, this isn't just my artwork. It became Carlos, it became me, it became the students, it became the faculty's piece as well. From high energy to galactic astronomy to biophysics and everything in between. And um, each shape and each color represents one of those um, sections. It's a very uh, modest, understated uh, artwork and it's a very, uh, very subtle. And, uh, but it just makes a tremendous difference, clearly already. You can just walk in and it doesn't look like a big blank wall. It looks like something you would like to look at. Art certainly broadens our uh, you know, our appeal to people, and that, with, without a doubt. You know, where I do my research at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland, in fact, they have artists in residence programs in that, because it's just really interesting to make those connections, and maybe connect to a bunch of people who you wouldn't necessarily connect with otherwise. It's inspiring. Uh, it's inspiring to see the imagery that we were putting up uh, and where it comes from, the history. In our minds, I feel a lot of us see it, scientists as these kind of shy people working and whittling away in a small white cube. And it's kind of funny because artists can do that too in their own white cubes. And what they're doing here is like making a, a new world that we haven't seen yet. And I think that is really exciting. And it takes a long time, you know, what they're working on here might be 20 years before anything really starts to happen. And they're, they're ready for that because they're committed to that. And I think that's really exciting. And it's really inspiring and it's very humbling. That was kind of one thing I really liked about being here is I got to be around these rock stars, as I like to say, and I would say that in front of them, they were like, whatever. Mm -hmm.